We are about a week away from Season 14 kicking off in Sea of Thieves, Making Mischief, launching on all platforms on October 17th. And coming up in just a few days from now, this weekend, October 10th through the 17th, Gold Hoarders, Merchants, Order Souls, Athenas will get to participate in Gilded Voyages, something for y'all to look forward to starting on October 10th through the 17th. Now the basic information we already knew about. The grapple gun is a traversal tool, it's not a weapon. On the sloop brig you'll only be able to grapple onto the side ladder. However, the galleon you'll be able to grapple onto the side ladder as well as the back of the galleon. And they showed that in the video so I was right about that. And uh, they're also supposed to be working on a few other issues including the, the load time issues, anti-cheat, etc. So let's talk about what they featured in the uh, video today. They showed a little bit more of uh, the characters hanging off the sides of ships, but also in the artwork they show a character hanging off the edge of a ledge. So maybe you'll be able to hang off the ledge of ships as well as uh, rocks. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, crouching. Crouching is something they talked a great deal about. Making less noise while crouching, and your nameplate will be hidden from enemy players and crews while you're crouching around. And you'll also be less visible to NPC enemies when you are crouching in Sea of Thieves. So crouching is definitely something a lot of the sneaky players are going to be taking full advantage of in both PvP and PvE situations. We've also learned about the Murph fruit. Some people already speculate about what it can do. And uh, basically, you cook it, you eat it, and it will prevent friendly merfolk from appearing nearby or coming to your aid for a short period of time. This is great for people that want to be stealthy, who want to tuck on other players' ships, who want to uh, crouch around, but don't want the merfolk uh, appearing nearby for other players to notice. So if you don't want your merpal around, then you have to eat some myrrh fruit and they'll go away for a quick minute. The next thing they went in detail about was the disguises. So originally I thought that this was going to be an ability with uh, the blowpipe. It's not the blow dart, it's called the blowpipe. We'll get to that in a minute. But there's actually going to be uh, disguises in the game revolved around disguising yourself as a barrel, a sailor's chest. Those will be available at the very beginning for you to use. But uh, all players will be able to acquire other disguise chests that look like other chests in the game. You'll be able to acquire those chest disguises by unlocking accommodations throughout Season 14 of Sea of Thieves. So if you see a chest you like that you want to disguise yourself as, then you'll be able to do so eventually when it comes to whatever accommodation it happens to be. So you're not going to be able to purchase these disguises but you'll be able to earn them along the way. But you will be able to start off with the barrel and the sailor's chest disguises. The blowpipe. So it's called a blowpipe, not a blow dart. There's actually three different ammo types, not four. I guess mimic was scratched or disguise mimic. Maybe that's what they were referring to in that tease piece of artwork. But anyways, the blowpipe will have three different ammo types. And I think each ammo type is like four ammos max. So you can get up to uh, four black powder darts. That's the little explosive ammo you can get. You can also get four lure darts and four poison darts. And I guess in order to replenish it, you have to go to an ammo chest in order to replenish the darts. The black powder darts is a little explosive. It's uh, got a little fuse on it whenever it launches. And if you're hit with it, you have a limited amount of time to jump into water in order to defuse the uh, explosive dart or if a friend happens to have uh, I guess a, a bucket of uh, puke they can dump the puke on you to defuse it as well the lure dart is going to basically uh, be fired off in the distance and resemble the shiny objects of treasure whether in the water or on land and it can fool players into thinking that there's like a ton of treasure in the distance when it's actually just a an area where players might be setting up an ambush. It can also attract like skellies and enemy NPCs towards you if you're hit by a lure dart. And then finally the poison dart pretty much works exactly how we suspected. It's basically snake poison. You get the snake poison effect when you're hit by the snake poison. I guess you can try and heal yourself 
or you'll end up slowly dying from the poison dart. So yeah, three new uh, dart types coming with the uh, blow pipe, a new weapon in the game. They also went into a bit more detail regarding the uh, traps. We know that not only will you be able to put the traps down by themselves and use them to injure players, you'll also be able to equip uh, various uh, throwables to the traps like fireworks, uh, like jig curse balls for players to start dancing to, uh, fireballs, etc. And uh, to counter it, players will have the ability to shoot the traps or you can simply disarm the traps and take the trap and uh, the throwable that's in the trap for yourself. And players can also bury the traps to hide them and make it harder for players to spot the traps. There's also going to be some uh, new cosmetics and a new plunder pass that's coming to season 14 of Sea of Thieves. There's one in particular that my fiance Riley Black Fox really likes for some reason. The uh, Black Fox themed ninja sales, cosmetics for ships, and the uh, Black Fox figurehead. You know she's going to get that. Plus there's ninja outfits. Uh, you have, uh, let's see, uh, throwables that looks like size. That's kind of cool. The uh, sword looks like a katana, which I think is really awesome. And I, I think some of that might be available in the plunder pass. Uh, some of it may not be because I was looking over the plunder pass items and it didn't look like the figurehead was in there. So it's possible that there's some of the things you might have to uh, acquire uh, unlock or purchase. We'll just have to wait and see when it comes to the what I'm calling the Black Fox Ninja uh, figureheads cosmetics for the ships and players. Uh, there's other cosmetics that are going to be available as well. The uh, Inner Sanctum ship cosmetic along with the Inner Sanctum uh, outfits. I think that's something you'll be able to uh, get in the Plunder Pass. And there's also this cool looking uh, witch cauldron, uh, cauldron uh, type ship cosmetic with uh, witch uh, outfits and a cool looking uh, black and white cat with purple eyes and a, and a witch hat. I, I might have to get that cat. I don't know. I'll think about it. R rare. No promises. That's pretty much all the information we have regarding Season 14 of Sea of Thieves making mischief. It's themed around tucking, being sneaky, stealthy, disguises. I think a lot of players are really going to enjoy this season. Uh, some players may not, especially if you happen to find yourself on the receiving end of uh, crouching players, sneaky players, disguised, tucking players. It may not be very fun for you. And one other thing a lot of players like, I mentioned this in the last video, the armories aboard ships will only be available to be used by the crews and players of that ships. So boarders will no longer be able to access your armory, but they'll still be able to access the ammo box and uh, all the uh, storage crates and the fruit crates, uh, the barrels aboard your ship. So that, that makes sense, especially in a game called Sea of Thieves, where we're all supposed to be pirates. I don't think this is going to be a bad season. I think there's some quality of life improvements and changes that are coming to the game that will be enjoyable, at least for a period of time. Some people might end up enjoying it more than others, but there's also some really cool uh, cosmetics coming to the game as well via the Plunder Pass and obviously also the Emporium, just in time for Halloween season. Once again, the Season 14 official content update video, link below in the description section. Your thoughts, views, opinions regarding Season 14 of Sea of Thieves Welcome, as always, below in the comments section.